Well, it's five o'clock. Uh, wel welcome to the uh, January uh, City Commission meeting, uh, Planning Commission, and we will have a roll call. Here. 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 Are there any amendments or changes to the agenda meeting? There are not. Okay. Anybody? Okay, we'll move on. Is there is there a motion to approve the agenda then? So moved. Second. Right. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. All right, we have our minutes in our packet. They've been reviewed. Uh, if anybody has any comments or for a motion, please. Anybody? Motion to approve. Thank you. Is Thank there you. a second? Can we have a second? Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Very good. Is there, um, in this big crowd, is there any citizens that want to be heard on anything? Uh, that is not on the agenda. Anybody have anything? Okay, hearing none, we have no public hearings on Board of Adjustments, and we do have a public hearing from Planning Commission. It's a request of the City of Moorhead to rezone property within MCCA RA Industrial Park. Is there a motion to open the hearing? So moved. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Go ahead, Robin. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, the City of Moorhead is requesting to rezone these three parcels from transitional to light industrial. Uh, these properties were annexed into the city in uh, 2003, so this is more of a housekeeping item. Um, and also, they were recently designated as shovel-ready sites, so the city is ready to work on them for economic development purposes. So this is just, um, like, I, like I mentioned, a housekeeping item. Uh, staff is recommending the um, Planning Commission recommend approval of the rezoning. And I have no further comments. Anybody have any questions for Robin? Questions, anybody? And uh, did, did you get any comments from anyone? Um, Mr. Chair, we received one email, just a question, no comments. Okay, thank you. All right, um, is there anyone from the city or anybody from the, out there in the, in the audience that would like to speak to this? Very, very good. All right. Uh, that being seen, there's no co comments from the audience. So I'll ask for a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any other discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? None. Seems pretty straightforward. So anybody wants to make a motion? Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion that we approve the request of the City of Moorhead to rezone the property within the MCC ARA Industrial Park um, following all criteria suggested by staff. Uh, I recommend approval. Thank you. Second. We have a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. All right. Thank you. We are now at our annual meeting for 2019, and uh, we have uh, we just went through the roster of our current commission. We we'll, we have one, um, uh, B. Roger uh, Butcher, uh, who is at the end of his term, and other than that, we'll be looking at uh, potentially your appointment uh, for Jim Haney uh, as county commissioner uh, appointment. And you're you're appointed already to the council. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Very I, th good. I think it'll be official at the next council. Meeting. Okay, very good. Are there any items you'd like to speak to, Robin, on as far as the annual report? No, I would just um, be willing to ask, answer any questions, even though I wasn't here in 2018, okay. but I'd gladly try to answer any of your questions um, if you had any specific questions on any of those items. And then, I, Mr. Chair, I'd also, um, on, if you were skipping around to the election of the officers, you also have an appointment for the Fargo Mayor, uh, Fargo Moorhead Metro oh, okay. um, mm -hmm. Policy Board. Yes. Yes. I think Roger had been part of that. So. Okay. <clears throat> well, if we don't have anything uh, mentioned in the report to, to ask or make comments on, why don't we move on then to the election of officers? So let's, uh, I would say we'd start with chairman, we go to vice chair, and then um, we can go on to the Metro Cog. Is that what? Yeah. So is there any nominations for chair for 2019? Anybody jumping up and down to do it? How are you? <laughs> Do it, Nicole? I'll do it if you guys want me to do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fine. Would someone like to make a nomination? I would like to nominate Nicole Watson for the chair. All right. I'll second that nomination. Any other nominations? Hearing none, close those nominations. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Very good. Congratulations. <laughs> and is there a mo uh, uh, nomination for vice president? Vice chair. Okay, very good. I will second that nomination. Seems agreeable to that. So is there any other nominations? Hearing none, I'll close the nominations. All in favor of Matt Leitzis is... Uh, Vice Chair, I'll, um, say yay. yay. <laughs> <laughs> and opposed, none. Thank you. Anybody have interest in our Metro Cog? I know Roger's been on that for the last couple of years, and, and so if you have interest, uh, speak up. I do have interest. Okay. I, I have one question on that appointment. It, does Clay County have a representative on the yes. policy? Okay, okay. Yep. And then the city of Moorhead also has a member, is that correct? Okay. I think it's Brenda last term. Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't know who it is this year. And Gertz is also. Okay. Yeah, I don't I didn't see who was on the policy board this year. We'll we'll know next week. Okay, that's all I have. Okay, well, we have a no nomination. Uh, did we get a motion uh, for that nomination, or we just had interest? Okay, anybody want to nominate Nicole? I'll, I'll nominate Nicole. All right, very good. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, none. Congratulations again. <laughs> And Robin, uh, you have anything to speak to on the bylaw by review and update? Mr. Chair, just if anyone has any questions, um, I included in your packet the uh, suggested changes um, with the changes highlighted and I think it printed in red. It should have printed in red. Um, and just also note, because you also serve as the Board of, Appeal Board of Appeals, yeah. um, these bylaws changes would for the Board of Appeals as well. Uh, Mr. Chair, I have a couple of questions for Robin. Um, first, uh, first, just a note, I, I'm sure it's not that big of a deal, but um, on Article 10 effective date, it says the bylaws will take place on the second day of January 2092. And 
I am pretty confident none of us will be around here at that point. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves, so I want to fix that one. Um, I had a question on Article 6, Pre-Meeting Procedures, Section 2, all the letters, when it is changing from at least eight weeks to in time to meet all applicable deadlines, including statutory and otherwise. Um, could you just give us a little bit more background on why that change is being made? Certainly. Um, I don't have the list of all the statutory um, deadlines. We have um, certain deadlines that we have to follow for um, rezonings, CUPs, um, variances. Uh, we wanted to put the language in your bylaws to be a little more flexible because sometimes a project will be a little more complicated, so we want to have the developer or the applicant come in sooner. Um, there's obviously going to be minimums, like if they refuse to talk to us and they have the right to submit an application, then we would just go by the statutory deadline, which is usually like 60 days um, uh, for like a CUP. Um, so there are legal minimums, but we want to we would just we were looking to put really flexible language in your bylaws thank you mr chair I have a question so just kind of following up on on what nicole said <clears throat> you know i read through that and if we remove the eight weeks do we think we want to put at least some term on it versus leaving it open-ended even if that term is 30 weeks <clears throat> just a thought I mean open-ended that kind of implies they could I mean this could drone on for years I, I wouldn't expect it would but the possibility would be there right. just Mr. a thought Any Mr. chair maybe I'll let the community development director speak to that since she has a little more history on that as, than <laughs> I do sounds good <clears throat> good evening um, so one of the notes that Robin had touched on was the different statutory deadlines and so we would still have an application deadline it's typically three weeks before the Planning Commission um, because we have to have a minimum 10 days notice both published and mailed and so we're still gonna have that hard deadline um, an example of why we need a little bit of flexibility is an easement or right-of-way vacation for example actually requires two public notices so we require those applications a week before something like a CUP or variance or rezoning. So there still will be hard deadlines for all of those, but having a little bit more flexibility for things like vacations, which are on a little bit different schedule because of that extra um, publication notice that we have to do, we have to do two instead of one, um, allows us a little bit more flexibility as opposed to having a very specific time frame in here. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, Robin. So any other questions? Concerns, comments, motions? Do we need to vote on these? Are we, are we voting to approve? Yes. I uh, move to approve the City of Moorhead Planning Commission bylaws as amended by staff. <laughs> Once again, that would be as including um, the other group. Uh, yeah, Mr. Chair, adjustments. I'll bring you a clean copy to the next meeting for signature, so then you can look at them again in your packets. And if there's any additional questions, you can certainly bring those up again. Okay. But, but I'll bring um, you. You do actually have two different sets. Um, we can combine them into oh. one document. I'll talk to Christy about that. But right now, they are two separate okay. documents. Okay. So this one mm -hmm. tonight. Okay, very good. We have a motion. Is there a second? Any other discussions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None? Right. Any other reports or information you'd like us to have today? I have nothing further, Mr. Chair. Very good. It's nice having you with us, Robin, for the first time. Thank you. Yeah. Good to be here. <laughs> All right. I move for adjournment. <laughs>